right, the bus is here. Come on, let's go. Right in experience. Okay, now I'm inside the bus. Let's find out how these things work. This bus is a self-driving with numerous sensors, looking out for road markings, traffic lights, and obstacles. The speed of the bus will range from 25 to 30 km per hour, but a bus captain is still behind the wheels just in case anything unexpected to happens. Uh, later you guys come down like oh, okay. just stay inside and teach you all to do. So this one is based on GPS or also based on the road lines and other? Uh, not based on road lines, but based on, uh, based on the free plan mark. Also uh, GPS, also uh, uh, fusion of uh, sensors, sensors. Radar, camera. Yeah, so yeah. it just uh, senses the, the, the radar, the camera, they all have their own purposes on uh -huh. how to recognize the area maybe based on uh, local, uh, localization to localize and uh, also perception to, for the eyes to see. Oh, okay. So means this one is uh, is equipped with, with uh, 360 cameras around the bus. But in terms of sensor, yes, it's a uh, overlapping protection. Uh, I'm sure that there's no blind spots. What if, uh, for example, if the weather is very bad, like very heavy rain, so, so the, the sensor will disrupt, right? Yes, the, the sensor will, uh, at a certain point of level, uh -huh. then the sensor will be or maybe start to detect, you just start to have a uh, slightly jerky, like you can still go with carry on, if not, the best option is for the driver to take over. Oh, so that's why you still need um, yes. uh, manual All driving. Yes, due to, to safety. safety features, yeah. So for example, this zebra crossing, it can detect, right? Yes, it can detect. Uh, actually, uh, there will be a... That's why it detected why that the car. the car is inside the zebra crossing. So it's a bit sensitive to any kind of uh, disturbance, right? When it breaks, if it's going forward already, it's automatically release the brake also. Yes, correct. So, yes, and everything is automatic. Only in the in, in the incidents where uh, maybe uh, somebody run in and then will only uh, or, or any last minute obstacle come in, right? Uh, only then the driver will. Uh, intervent, yes, override. Must always have a physical driver just for emergency purposes. Our level is still not up to level 5 yet. So, when level 5, then we can officially say that you don't need a driver. So, this is the last stop. Oh, wow, this is the stop actually. Okay, so, you go back. Uh -huh. okay, then later there will be an end shuttle trip. Sorry. Bigger buses, maybe? Oh, okay. We actually have another bus in Dorong uh, Island. It's a bigger bus. Unfortunately, it's not for uh, public yet. Public. Oh, okay. This is awesome. Dorong Island is a restricted area. Dorong Island is a 
yeah. is uh, it's a very high security. Yeah, very high security. Yeah, you're right. Okay, we are now going back to Hapar Villa Station. All right. Okay. Have a good holiday. Yeah, thank you, brother. Thank you. This is a very pleasant and interesting experience. The staff were so friendly, knowledgeable, and uh, oh yeah, thanks to them for letting me to have a shoot inside the bus.